Welcome to the Eternal Bright Light Channel. Ashwini Nakshatra, the first nakshatra, and the beginning of Kitu's energies, is represented in the celestial firmament by two bright stars in the constellation of Aries. The ancient Vedic seers saw the Aries constellation as forming a horse's head, and thus these two stars were seen as making a similar pattern. In modern astronomy, they are known as Alpha and Beta Arietes, or Hamel and Sheraton respectively. They are relatively bright stars, and not so difficult to locate in the night sky. The word Ashwini can be translated into either born of a female horse or horsewoman. The first meaning is clear, but the second one leaves one confused whether it is a mythical creature with a horse's head and a woman's body. As we shall discover later, it is probably the latter. The main symbolism of Ashwini Nakshatra is a horse's head. This symbol as we can see, is in keeping with its name, a horse's head conveys the idea of a beginning. One can notice how a rider pats their horse's neck, before beginning any journey. From ancient times, a horse is seen as a symbol of power, courage, movement and vitality. Since Ashwini lies at the beginning of Aries, it symbolizes the head of the Kala Purusha, or the eternal being. The head, of course relates to the brain. Thus Ashwini automatically relates to mental impulses and leadership. Horse in general, also signifies movement, so this nakshatra relates to movements of all kinds, both physical movements, and non-physical movements, between different worlds or realms. The Ashwini Kumars, the two celestial horsemen, are regarded as the presiding deities of this nakshatra. Their names are Dashra and Nasachya, which translates into, bringing help and truthfulness respectively. According to Vedic legends, they are twin brothers, born out of the union of Sun God and his wife Sanjana, when they were in the form of a stallion, and a mare. We won't go into the full story here, but these twin brothers, have extraordinary healing and rejuvenating capabilities, and are like a celestial super physician. The Ashwini Kumars have the knowledge of all herbs, and their medicinal properties, and also have supernatural powers, to cure any disease or fix any problem. They are also known for curing impotence, and other types of sexual disorders. They are also known to make the old become young, and they themselves, have a forever youthful appearance. This explains the ageless quality of this nakshatra. The generosity and compassion of the Ashwini Kumars, extends to animals and all other creatures as well. Lord Brahma and Ganesha, is also connected to this nakshatra. Brahma, the architect of this creation, represents all types of beginnings, and Ganesha is known as obstacle remover, and is the main presiding deity of Kitu. Lord Ganesha's four main qualities, purity, auspiciousness, innocence and supreme devotion to the Universal Mother, can be seen manifested through the functioning of Ashwini. Spontaneous, is the word which sums up the nature and functioning of this nakshatra. It is a nakshatra which relates to beginnings, and is also the quickest of all the nakshatras. Qualities like quickness, agility and speediness, from the core functioning of this nakshatra. It has a straightforward, and a no-nonsense way of dealing with things and life in general. Ashwini natives, are quite impulsive in their thoughts and action, 
have a strong spirit, and are usually brimming with life and intelligence. They may also have a happy-to-go-lucky disposition. On a negative note, the lesser evolved Ashwini natives may end up making the same mistakes repeatedly because of their high energy and fearlessness. Ashwini natives have a distinct sense of light-hearted jovial humor. The constant need for movement makes them not so useful in activities, which requires stillness and patience. These natives usually have a confident and independent spirit and doesn't like to be dictated by others. This quality is similar to a wild and untamed horse. Ashwini natives usually like to dress well and can be seen spending a considerable amount of time on their wardrobe. They are direct and straightforward people and appreciate the same qualities in others. They are always fascinated by all affairs related to healing, rejuvenation and self-improvement practices. Ashwini natives have a marked tendency to feel unique in whatever they do. They may think that they have a special gift which others don't possess. But it is also true that they have a pioneering approach to things which makes them a step ahead of the rest. In the modern times, these native are the first ones to catch to new trends and happenings. But these natives are not usually the show-off types and are modest in any circumstances. They are moderate eaters and like to be self-sufficient and independent. They are sincere and competent in whatever they do, although they may lack the discipline and endurance to achieve perfection. But the Ashwini natives who do have endurance are often very successful in whatever they choose to do. This nakshatra functions in a very active way as it relates to the very beginning of all activities. It is the basic primordial force which introduces activity into passivity of time and space and the original creative spark cannot be anything but active. This nakshatra relates to the Vaishya caste. It might surprise some but Vaishyas are merchants and businessmen in modern times. Doing any kind of business and entrepreneurship requires taking a lot of initiatives and rapid decisions. So, Ashwini Nakshatra natives can be good at doing business and making money. It is a male Nakshatra. And, the number one also relates to the masculine aspect of nature. As we have already discussed, this nakshatra also projects the archetypical masculine qualities like drive, ambition, initiatives and logic. The body parts related to this nakshatra are the knees and the top portion of feet, which is evident from this nakshatra's association with speed and movement. The Ayurvedic nature of this nakshatra is primarily Vata type. Vata as we know is related to the air and space element and carries a lot of movable energy which perfectly tunes with the nature of this nakshatra. The directions it relates to are center, east, south and northwest. The four parts or padas of this nakshatra are unique on their own. The first pada is full of initiative and bestows abundant energy and drive. The second pada likes to see the material manifestation of thoughts and ideas. The third pada can be considered to be the speedy jack of the zodiac. The fourth pada is the place of emotional faculty which manifests itself as empathy and usually in tune with the pulse of collective consciousness. The professions related to this nakshatra are horse trainers and racers, all types of healing professions like physicians, 
surgeons, therapists, chemists, counselors, physiotherapists, physical arts like dancing, combat sports like martial arts, transportations, herbologists, teachers for beginners, racing sports, stuntmen, soldiers, goldsmiths and engineering profession in general, especially mechanical engineering. The places related to this nakshatra are, stables, grazing lands, racing tracks, hospitals and healing places, roads, railway tracks and any path meant for transportation, military bases, health clubs, gymnasiums, kindergarten and primary schools. It is a sattvic nakshatra, and is related to purity and innocence, attached with all types of beginnings, including the creation of this universe, and it belongs to the earth element. The guna of this nakshatra is deva or godly. It is a level and movable nakshatra, as we already know, that it relates to traveling of all types. But too much movement, can also make a native restless in nature. This nakshatra, is also associated with all kinds of leveling activities such as, laying foundations for houses and buildings. The lunar month of this nakshatra, is the first half of Ashwin month, which usually falls in September or October, in the solar calendar. Ashwini is also related to the first Tithi or the first lunar day, of the waxing phase of the moon's monthly cycle. The auspicious activities related to this nakshatra are, beginnings and initiations of all kinds, especially those involving learning new things, laying foundation stones, taking medicines, all types of healing, rejuvenation and exercise, self-improvement and improving one's physical appearance, age prevention techniques, horse-related activities, traveling, learning astrology and spiritual science, good for installing sacred altars, temples and statues, and favorable for taking a new name. Although, the first part or parta of this nakshatra, can be avoided for performing activities in general. Inauspicious activities are, marriages, all kind of endings, activities requiring patience and perseverance, sexual activity, highly emotional activities, intoxication and not good for completion of any kind. Kutu is the planetary ruler of this nakshatra. Kutu, as we know relates to all types of beginnings, and is directly related, to the initiator e impulse inherent in this nakshatra. Kutu represents the past, and every beginning has a past. Kutu is also related to rejuvenation and regeneration, which is also an inherent quality of this nakshatra. The creativity of this nakshatra, corresponds to Kutu's primordial creative potential, arising from the, will aspect of nature. This creative force, can sometimes be so strong and overwhelming, that it becomes difficult to control or channel. But, when it is successfully controlled, it leads to pioneering success. The Ashwini natives, have a strong belief that anything is possible and can be achieved. Mars, the planetary ruler of zodiac sign Aries, also connects to this nakshatra very well, as we know, Mars is the planet of energy, activity, impulse and action. No movement is possible without energy. So, in a way Mars is the engine, which drives Ashwini's high spirit and impulsive tendencies. Sun is also closely related to this nakshatra, as Sun reaches its maximum exaltation in this nakshatra. Sun is related to the number one, and the ultimate source of energy and signifies free spirit, 
which greatly resonates with the functioning of this nakshatra. It is interesting to note that, the Sun itself is a continuously moving entity, and the Ashwini Kumars, who are related to speed and dynamism, are the sons of the Sun God. The sounds related to the four padas of this nakshatra are The first pada corresponds to Chu The second pada corresponds to Che The third pada corresponds to Cho And the fourth pada corresponds to La The animal related to this nakshatra is a horse Horses are sensitive and passionate creatures and these qualities find expressions in Ashwini natives. On an esoteric level, Ashwini Nakshtra represents the primordial and initiator urge, which created the universe. The Ashwini Kumars are expert in healing systems of all kinds. There are many tales which highlight their healing capabilities. Once, they were able to replace the head of a sage called Dadichi, after it was cut. They also restored the youth of another sage called, Shevaran Muni. The full story we will discuss another time. In Mahabharata, Nakul and Sahadeva the youngest among the five Pandavas, who were expert in healing techniques, were the sons of Ashwini Kumars. The secret power of Ashwini Nakshatra is Shidreva Pani Shakti, or, the power to quickly attain one's objectives without hesitation or delay. This Nakshatra is related to the celestial sage Marichi, one of the Saptarishas, or the seven celestial sages looking after the affairs of the creation. From those suffering from the bad effects of this Nakshatra, can worship Lord Ganesha. Lord Ganesha is called the remover of all obstacles and can help to reduce the negative afflictions of this nakshatra. One prime example of an Ashwini native is Bruce Lee, the famous martial artist. He was born with Ashwini rising on his ascendant. His life illustrates the different aspects of this nakshatra. Besides his amazing and extraordinary swiftness and quickness, he also miraculously recovered from a serious injury, which signifies the healing aspect of this nakshatra. Friends, that's all for today, and it was only a brief introduction to Ashwini nakshatra. There are still many more things to learn in depth about this nakshatra. The last time we introduced Magha Nakshatra, which you guys greatly appreciated and found it helpful. Hopefully, this little information about Ashwini Nakshatra that we discussed today, will also prove to be helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Who knows, maybe one of your friends is an Ashwini native. Goodbye for now, see you again soon. Please, heal yourself, and everyone else. Take care.